Thank you for meeting with me today to discuss the evaluation and implementation of my integrated marketing and ad execution plan. As I have been informed, the Greater Edwards Aquifer Alliance is attempting to reach a new audience, and this audience is college students. As a result, I have created a plan to reach this audience that aligns with the objectives and goals of the mission statement, as well as to maintain the idea of a nonprofit organization. With this being said, the best way to do this is to increase donations while reaching the college student demographic. So, let's talk about college students. College students belong to one of the most interesting and unique demographics around. There are none other like it. They are very impressionable. Incoming freshmen and even sophomores are looking for groups and trying to find themselves in the university system. So according to Asim Savitsi, they have a strong desire to belong and in fact have more satisfaction when it comes to life when they belong to a group. So it is clear that it is really important for these individuals to belong to a group and to have something to represent them. But it's really difficult to reach every one of these individuals one at a time. However, the best way to reach them is through their leader and through their influencer. So for example, if you're trying to reach the Student Government Association, go to their president. If you're trying to reach the Public Relations Society uh, organization, go to their influencer. And this aligns with the two-step theory approach, which suggests that mass communication messages do not move directly from the sender to receiver anymore. Now, the middleman or the gatekeeper in this case is the influencer, the leader, the president. They're the person that we need to address in order to get our information to those groups. That is the best way to get the message across. Now, how do we get the message to them and what is that message? So, as we all know, print media is fleeting. No one's reading print magazines or newspapers anymore. It's all digital. So, and for, with this being the case, it's important to focus on social media and a promotional concept. So according to Bum Soo Kim, students who utilize social media are positively connected with having a great communication network with their peers. Now, all students like to exist and communicate online, which is great for us because that's what we're trying to get across is an online presence. And this aligns with the uses and gratification theory because it says that the audience members actively pursue particular media to satisfy their own needs. And in this case, it's digital media. And all of these students are using digital media to interact with their friends. So I've included three social media posts and one promotional concept. Three social media posts utilize stuff that enact change, pull on the heartstrings of the students, and also use a little bit of humor. And this is the use of pathos. And that's really important because that's what college students look for. And for the promotional concept, it's like a mutual benefit, a mutual exchange. You donate $20 to us, we give you a t-shirt in return. And it's really important because college students love free stuff because they can't pay for everything. And it's a mutual relationship. So thank you for your consideration, and I hope to hear back from you soon. Thank you so much, and have a great day.